But the Bible tells Christians to come boldly into God's presence. We have confidence to enter the holy place by the blood of Jesus. Hebrews 10, 19. Our topic today is the blood of Jesus Christ. The power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hello. How are you doing? May the good Lord bless you and guide you in Jesus' mighty name. In the blood of Jesus, we receive the forgiveness of our sin. In addition to being able to enter into God's presence through the blood of Christ, we are also forgiven of our sins. Ephesians 1 7 says, In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace. Because of Christ's shed blood, God is able to forgive us of sins because he took our punishment while we deserve hell because of our sin. Jesus Christ sacrifice makes heaven our eternal destination. Christ explained the forgiveness he offers to his disciples at the Last Supper, which was also the meal celebrating the Passover lamp. For this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. Matthew chapter 26, verse 28. Just as the blood of the Passover lamb delivered the Israelite people from the night of terror in Egypt, Christ's own blood would deliver from the judgment of God. This truth is expressed beautifully in the hymn that we always sing, nothing but the blood of Jesus Christ. The hymn says, What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, precious the flow that makes me white as snow. No other font I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Take joy, Christian, that the blood of Jesus Christ has cleansed you from your sin. Hallelujah. We have our conscience cleansed. The blood of Christ who through the internal spirit offered himself without blemish to God, purify our conscience from dead works to serve the living God. Hebrews 9, 14. This is an amazing promise. Christ cleanses our conscience from acts that lead to death. How does he do it? He offered himself his unblemished perfect life as a sacrifice to God for us on account of our sins even though our minds have been corrupted by sin christ can cleanse us we are able to live and take the way god wants us to once again this is great news for those who are burdened by a sinful past and corrupted conscience as a child of god what are you thinking now is it what satan is telling you <laughs> tell him that he is a liar the blood of Christ not only offers forgiveness of sin, but also sanctification. Hebrews 13, 12 tells us that Jesus also suffered in order to sanctify the people through his own blood. It makes sense that God wants us to be in a new relationship with the sin that previously condemned us. That is why he gave us the power through the blood of his son to be cleansed from our sinful behaviors. Hallelujah. We are able to conquer the accuser of the brethren. Because of Christ's sacrifice, we can trust in the righteousness of Christ and not our own righteousness when we are accused by our enemy. Revelation chapter 12 verse 11 says, And they have conquered him, who? Satan, by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. For they love not their lives even unto death. As believers, we know that we cannot stand on our own, on our own merit, or because of our own deeds. Christ's righteousness attributed to us is how we can stand up against accusations. The word of God is truth. 
Now, there are so many things Satan can be talking. Now, as you are in this video, looking at this video, hearing it, Satan can ask you a question. The question like this. I know what the devil will say to you. He will say to you, you are a sinner. <laughs> Do you know what? Tell him, you. I know you very well. But that of all that you are justified. He will tell you of the greatness of your sin. Tell him of the greatness of Christ's righteousness. He will tell you of your own missiles and your backsliding. Of your offenses and your wanderings. Tell him. And tell your own conscience. Tell him to tell it to his own conscience. That you know all that. But that Jesus Christ came to save sinners. And that although your sin be great. Christ is quite able to put it all away. Hallelujah. We are rescued out of a sinful way of life. You, we are resumed, ransomed from the fertile ways inherited from your forefathers, but not with perishable things such as silver or good, but with the precious blood of Christ, like that of a lamp without blemish or spot. First Peter chapter 1, verse 18 to 19. Hallelujah. There is power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Does the blood of Jesus cover your sin? If not, these glorious benefits are not for you. But if you are humble, humble yourself and cry out to Jesus Christ for forgiveness, He will save you. There is no greater gift than reconciliation with God. Trust in Jesus Christ today. He will make a way for you. Our Lord leave it. Trust in Him. The blood of Jesus Christ covers all your sins. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen.